Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to On Point, the number one Saturday morning Christian-based call-in talk show in America, live every Saturday morning on any smart device, at David G. Evans, the number one. That's at David G. Evans, the number one. We're so glad you took the time to join us for what we think will be another stimulating conversation as we talk about those things that are impacting your life from day to day, but always from a biblical perspective, whether it be national, international, regional, or local. Uh, we try to touch those um, areas of your life and give you some wisdom um, based upon the Word of God so you can navigate your life uh, in a very successful way. Our callers from around the country allow us to do that as they inform us as to what's going on in their particular regions, in their cities, in their states, and that gives us the opportunity to apply that biblical wisdom to uh, the events that are current in all of our lives. So if you want to talk to us, we'd be glad to talk to you. A lot of first-time callers every week, we look forward to you calling us also. Uh, you can reach us on Facebook at David T. Evans 1, and um, you can dialogue with us that way if you desire that platform. But we'd love for you to call us so we can speak to you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this morning, you can do that toll-free from anywhere in the world, 866-743-8267. That's 866-743-8267. That's 866-74-EVANS. Give us a call. We'll talk about co politics. We'll talk about sports. We'll talk about culture. Uh, I'm sure that the uh, March Madness is going to come up. We'll talk about those events, the elections, and, but always the faith, Christ, the Word of God, all those conversations are appropriate. Uh, we don't always agree, but we're never disagreeable. So it's just a safe place for you to call, safe place to hear biblical truth, safe place for interaction. And we look forward to having the opportunity to share with you the On Point atmosphere. Of course, joining me once again is our world-famous co-host, Reverend Nicholas A. Smith. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, man. How you doing? Wonderful Good Friday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Oh, man. If you have yeah. not had yeah. the chance to join us beginning last Sunday, Palm Sunday, um, the series of services and videos that uh, will bless your life as we build the momentum up to Resurrection Sunday. Um, had a phenomenal Palm Sunday. We uh, did some recordings for you so you can look at them for Monday and Tuesday as we trace the path of the Lord from Palm Sunday uh, to the resurrection. So we've got videos for you every day that you can pull up, watch Wednesday night service. We talked about the essential Judas. Uh, you don't want to miss that. I uh, got quite a lot of comments about that particular one. Um, and then we had service Thursday night, special communion, our miracle service, and prayed, open, laid hands on people, anointed them with oil. Phenomenal time. Last night was our excellent Friday night. We had two powerful preachers, yeah. uh, some great presentations. Uh, we don't do the normal, you know, seven preachers and, you know, eight hours long. We don't do yeah. that. Oh, God. What we do is, is um, a few words will be preached in combination, and the other words will be demonstrated through Creative Fine Arts. You don't want to miss that. Uh, pull that up. And I believe we have a recording for tonight, Tonight too. at 7 o'clock, yes. We have another uh, tape that you can view tonight at 7 mm -hmm. um, to get you into. Now, we are in our fast which began um, 12 o'clock Thursday night. And we will be fasting as a church from all solid food, drinking all the liquid that we can um, until after service tomorrow. Uh, you can join us, even if you didn't start with us on Thursday, you can join us and decide to fast into Resurrection Sunday. Uh, we are also um, uh, getting ourselves ready for Resurrection Sunday. We're looking for God to save countless numbers of people, yep. We're looking for signs, wonders, and miracles to occur. Um, but we're also bringing a resurrection seed. We've asked our congregation for $100. Many will do more, like myself. Uh, but we always say get in where you fit in. Bring a sacrificial seed with you to sow on resurrection day. Give that seed an assignment. Uh, put your faith at work and watch God answer that prayer. Yeah. Whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. So we want you to join us in this resurrection process, in this whole Lenten season. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been fasting from things. Now, what did you fast from? <laughs> I fasted from my PlayStation. Okay. It may seem trivial to other people, <laughs> but it's not trivial to me. Uh, okay, so PlayStation is a big deal. People binge watch shows. I don't binge watch a lot. 
You don't binge watch? No. I, you, every if a show is worth it. You play your PlayStation extensively. That's, that's my. That's your thing. That's my thing to relax me. Okay. Competition. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can't now, play football physically no more. So. Now, who do you compete against in the PlayStation? Just online, the game. The game or online? Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. I've never played, so you can tell. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up in the Nintendo era. Okay. Genesis. Okay. When I was a kid. That's when the video game systems. Okay. Okay. So you are carrying that over, and that's your stress relief. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's yeah. got that. Re or read a book. Yeah. 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 Just. I have much time to read. I, I yeah. walk and pray. Just, yeah. And I keep walking till my legs say, I know, that's right. You finish praying. <laughs> I know. But I'm, I'm going to try yeah. Audible to, uh, where you listen to the book. Okay. Uh, so that'll help me get it in, at least in the car yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that works. Yeah. I know people are starting to do that more. Yeah. I remember when I put my audio book out, mm -hmm. um, I think it was uh, Hill Lost Scar. It was it Dare, Dare, Dare to Be a Man. Dare to Be a Man on, yeah. on audio. A lot of people said that was the only way they were going to get it. Yeah. Listening, going to work, coming from work, working mm -hmm. out. Yep. Kind of thing. Yeah. And a lot of people are starting to do that more. It's coming back, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's convenience. Yeah, it is. But I also like turning pages, too. I, there's, I nothing just, like book, I just, <laughs> there's nothing like a book, man. There's nothing like a book. Highlight. It's like Pastor Gray said last night. He yeah. said, man, they got me turning the pages up yeah. here. It's, it's a different feel. Yeah. I, can, I, read, I can read my Bible on my phone or a tablet. But it preaching, ain't the same. Pre preaching and teaching, no, I need to. It ain't the same. same. You know, I got to have that thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that day. It's different. Give us a call. Anyway, yeah. We're so glad you joined us. We'd love to talk to you. Tell us specifically, if you will, what you want the Lord to accomplish in your life during this Easter season, yeah. uh, during this resurrection season. What do you need God to do in this resurrection season? We'd love to agree with you. We'd love to pray with you. Let's go to Scott from Violent. Hey, Scott, how you doing this morning? Good, good. You all right? Bishop Evans, Pastor Nick, how you guys doing? Doing, doing all right, man. You getting on this March Madness, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, now, is, um, is, it's, it just, it's, is it just me, or uh, am I more interested in the girls' games this year I than I am? Most people are. Is no, it? The, yes. <laughs> not just you. It's it's they're 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 balling better than the guys. To be I, honest with you. I want to know why though. Why? What happened? What, what was the shift? The girls have star power. That's to me the I mean the game is good. Okay. But you got Caitlin Clark, you got the girl from uh LSU. Uh, LSU. Yeah. The uh, one from USC, Juju yeah. Watkins. Yeah. Um South Carolina. Yep. And you and you got Dawn Staley and her team. Yeah. 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 She just so, told about Thunder Pass yeah. and the Philly's own. Yeah. yeah, how yeah. And, and how many other guys can we mention? The tall guy from Purdue? Yeah. The the sheared guy that got knocked out of the game last night? Yeah. Yep, but when you think most of the yeah, star yeah, powers, yeah, with, it's, it's over on the girl side. Yeah, yeah, it's it, 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 it shifted throughout the years. Throughout the years, it's really shifted. So, now, did I see where they say some deal that Caitlin Clark is looking at? It's like five million bucks. The for big her? three is offering her five million. Yep. to do what? Play basketball. <laughs> that's, your that's, that's, ice cube, that's Ice Cube. That's Ice Cube's lead. Oh, the big three is like three on three. Yeah, it's like um, yeah, it's like it's a smaller one, but okay, but see, I, the. The women's game, w, I just learned it this year. Okay. Some of y'all may know. The WNBA, NBA, they only pay 75000 oh, to like 125. It, it's no money. Yeah. There's no profit in going to the WNBA. Yeah. You may get an announcer's job. Mm -hmm. And those base salaries are not high either. Mm -mm. So you, you, five million. So you can't blame the girl from um, LSU. They say she got 1.3 million in that, what do they call that? The NIL. NIL, yeah. yeah. To stay in college, you make more in college than you will she in the pros. She got 1.3 at NIL, yeah, and she's she's staying. Yeah. Now, my but she's not going to make that in the WNBA. No. And my my question now is: now that you have all this star power coming into the WNBA, mm -hmm. if the ratings start to uptick, which which would be good for that league, then right. the women can get paid more. Yeah. If you know, with this star power coming in, if they all go, this is really going to sound really crazy. Mm. I love watching certain teams in the female college ranks. Mm -hmm. I hate watching mm -hmm. the WNBA. Really? Okay. I, I think when you call yourself a pro, mm -hmm. layups are not the sh shots you miss. Mm -hmm. I, no. no. I, 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 I've, I've never watched this. Wide open. I'm, I watch it and I'm like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. these are professionals. Yeah. You're not supposed to miss this many shots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never watch this. I don't, I don't know. Doc, I just... When I say clear, like, Nobody's on them. Mm -hmm. Somebody ten feet behind. Yeah. And you're missing a layup. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even play, and I can lay a ball yeah, up. I know. I know. I you did. know what it's called? You know what it's called, Bishop and Pastor what? Nick Pop Shelton always used to say: College people play harder. When you, of course, get into the NBA, WNBA, yeah. you make it. It's called lackadaisical. It's just I, the quality of the game when I watch it, when I have t- tried to watch it, mm-hmm. and I tried to support it. Yeah. What frustrated me was just, and I didn't know till a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. the ball's smaller. Okay. I mean, just. Yeah. Every advantage, mm-hmm. but I didn't yep. know the ball was smaller for the ladies in college yeah, until I, until a couple weeks ago. I, I don't, I don't watch basketball like that. Yeah, I, I didn't know. Somebody yeah. told me. Yeah. But I did watch the finals last year, like maybe a part of the game of the yeah. women's, and it was pretty good. Yeah, oh, Las yeah. Vegas and oh yeah, I guess we'll championship on a line. Oh you yeah, wanna, oh yeah, you know, turn it up. They they do it, but I can see it being worth them staying in school now. Yeah, because the, oh, to, yeah. to go to the pros is going to be a pay cut for a lot mm-hmm. of them. And that's why a lot of them got to go overseas. But I'd say there's one bad thing, fellas, before I go. Mm-hmm. That um, that sports betting, I was listening to sports radio. Pro guys have gotten threats. I'm like, really? Because they, cause they've had an off game. They're human. And now the college people, I heard a college, I forget what college coach was saying, and they're starting them with the college students. They don't need all that pressure. It's... They do not need all that pressure, these athletes. You got people, hey, you, you got an off game. My whole thing is, Everybody's human, but what? the people who are betting don't don't apparently care. I'm like, it's not that serious to send death threats. But and Scott, talking Scott. about people like it's, but starting to they're starting to be able to bet on college games too. Scott, I don't know yes. you bet. I don't know you're betting on me. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I don't know. I have no idea you're betting on me. Absolutely. You, yeah. you out in California somewhere? I'm playing in Maine. I don't know you going into some betting shop and you're putting a bet down. Like, right. I know personally right. that you're right. betting on me. Right. Right. And, and come on, right. man. Yeah, yeah. Gamblers it's, it's, are nuts, man. Yeah, but yeah, big time, big yeah. time, big time. And but, the um, athletes that aren't supposed to be betting. The one guy from the Rock, I think the Rockets or Toronto, yeah, just got caught betting. I know. I'm like, yep. you giving up these huge salaries yep. just to do this. What about the guy from uh, the baseball player? Oh, the uh, the, uh Otani, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, trying to find. How you not? How you not going to know that your translator is taking all that money? Why does your translator mm-hmm. have access to your accounts? Unless, you know, I'm just saying. You might give your accountant access. You right. might give your agent access. Maybe. Right. Well, but, all that but money, you, though, but you're you, not know, but not, your you translator. Don't know and yeah. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Oh, come mm-hmm. on. Come on now. Three million dollars worth? Yeah, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the translator now. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And, and, right. and you, you know Mr. Pete Rose had to say something. He, he's well, he, need to, he, just, he just needs to be quiet. He got caught. He <laughs> yeah, needs to shut he, up. He does. Just zip your lip and just stay in your corner. Stay but, in your lane. But, but, if, but if a translator can get it, Ohio goes Ayamas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, 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 I speak a little. You speak a little. I, I can see. <laughs> I speak a little. <laughs> Come on now. I've been, I've been there, done that. I, you know, I can say a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since they paid translators three million. Come on. <laughs> but um, that's all I got, fellas. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, man. Yeah. All right. Tell my daughter. I said, hey. Nice and bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Eight six six seven four three eight two six seven eight six six seven four three eight two six seven. So as far as the college game this month, is everybody's bracket blown out the water? Well, we saw uh, Houston lost last night to Duke. Um, I thought I was just looked at. I think I can't watch them too much. Who Houston? Houston. Okay. They stressed me out. They, <laughs> they were ahead by about nineteen points. Yeah. And the game went down to overtime, like yeah. one two points. Yeah. I'm like, come on, guys. I, I can't watch you guys, man. I'm yeah. I'm sitting there getting tense, and I'm yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> like, like, like I got something on the line. Yeah, Duke knocked them out last night. Come on, man. But South Carolina was up by 22. The other team starts silly. Coming. Yep, silly. Yeah. And I love Dawn Staley because one of the South Carolina girls was like, "Yeah, basically, like they couldn't catch us. It's, it's post game conference. Okay. They couldn't catch us, and Dawn Staley like we were up by 22 when they came back. <laughs> she was like, "Come on." You can, don't brag now. You, yeah, uh-uh. Anytime. That's why I like her. She's she yeah, hard nosed. She, she ain't. She ain't gonna tolerate this. <laughs> she, no. She said that the, the tall girl wasn't shooting. Yeah. She said she grabbed her. <laughs> Shoot the blanket and black ball. <laughs> <laughs> so what? She does not play yeah, with them. She don't play. But I, they all want to go. They all want to go to her. She knows how to work with them. Yeah. 
and because she played yeah and she played high level ball yeah and she was good so you Yo, can yeah. respect you can't take it away from her nah nah but boy she she south carolina has become a power mm-hmm so i hope the uh i hope she I hope she finally gets it this year because they got knocked out the past couple of years did they yeah because i think lsu won last year oh that's right yeah but she's gone to the top, what, once or twice already, right? Yeah, I think she's been to yeah, the uh, – yeah. but I hope she wins it this year. I just, you know, they, we'll see. They can't play like – they know they're good. Now, the girls know they're good. They're yeah. just, but they can't play like it's a, it's a rollover because right. everybody's going the extra mile mm-hmm. at this point in the season. You got to – you got to come with the goods. Yeah. And sometimes I wonder how much if – you're, if you're not here, if you're not – mentally and emotionally mature enough to handle the stress of this long, mm-hmm, rigorous mm-hmm, process. Because mm-hmm. I'm sure after a while, your legs start getting more tired. And you're tired. You're tired. Your yeah. mind starts playing with emotionally, you. Emotionally, all that. Yeah, so you you did all that all year, and then the biggest game of your life. And then add undefeated to that. Yes. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. When, if you've never been in that position, if you what you're known for is not losing, mm-hmm. It's a different kind of pressure because everybody's coming for you. Yeah, yeah. And you got to have that sharp focus. Look, because it's easy if you're winning all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't quite feel it today. Yeah. Because like the Eagles, mm-hmm. you can't let everybody jump out ahead of you and say, we'll catch them. Yep. it catch up to you after a while. Yeah, man, you can't do it. Yeah. We got Tom from Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Good morning, Bishop. Good morning. Hey, Tom. Afternoon. What's going on, man? It ain't no, nothing much. But, you know, something you, you mentioned when you talk about um, these uh, girls coming through mm-hmm. and maybe changing the league. Mm-hmm. Now, Pastor Nick a little too young for this. But <laughs> back in our day, Bishop. Don't believe it, man. The NBA, <laughs> if the NBA wasn't what it was, that's why we saw the doctor every Sunday. Yeah, yep. Um, same thing with uh, Kareem. NBC and uh and the NBA made sure mm-hmm. they put the best out front mm-hmm. to get, you know, and I think if the WNBA takes the new young women and puts them in the right spot, they may get that viewership up. I, 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 I don't know if our audience will remember, but the NBA was faltering until Doc mm-hmm. and the ABA merged and Doc became yeah. – um, an NBA player, and then all of a sudden we had this ambassador who was amazing, who was charismatic, who was a gentleman, but an assassin at the same time, coming to the game, doing things that people – Pat Riley said, who is this guy? We've never seen anybody do this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then here comes Bird and Magic, and, you know, the rest is kind of history because everybody else that came after Doc – Bird and Magic came in on the wave of this new era of NBA ball that that came to be. It, it, Jordan and all of them took advantage of that. Thing. Yeah, exactly. And I, th- I think what the WNBA needs to learn, they if, you can't make everything up sport, just about sports. Right. You have to know how to make stars. Yep. And the NBA is good at presenting yep. star power. Mm-hmm. And that's the I hate to say it, it's a marketing thing. It's just you. You have to make these people larger than life on screen. But I, but I think they've got to come out of college yeah. with a rep. Yeah. Like a lot of the players yeah. in NBA, male side, the females, and, and you said it, the, the stars are being generated now yeah. in the college ranks. Yeah, because remember when WNBA really got started, when Lisa Leslie and mm-hmm. all of them came out, mm-hmm. it was huge, yep. like yep. big, because, again, yep. they, they didn't they could keep play. that thing going. Yeah, they could play. They didn't know how to keep the momentum going. Yeah. And I think sometimes it just didn't, you know. I think a lot of people got in from the investment side because mm-hmm. they thought they saw something. But you got to put money in this thing for it to work. Man. Yeah. yeah. It's now, like anything Barclay, else. Barkley said something the other night about yeah. the problem in the future with the NBA is that after uh, KD's gone and um, LeBron, we don't have any guys really coming up to follow those leadership roles that make people want to tune in I, they do have a couple people that are really unusual though yeah. i saw this guy from um was of course the Wimbayana guy uh. he's he's a generational talent mm-hmm. but there's this guy in minnesota 
that is absolutely phenomenal. I think his name is Andrew. What's this guy's name? Jump out of the gym, shoot from another state, rebound his head off, handle the ball like it's got a string on it. The guy's amazing. Andrew Wiggins? A no, not Wiggins. Not Wiggins. I just saw a clip of him again last night. I'm like, wow, this guy's really good. And I mean they can't they can't stop him. But he's in Min but he's in Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, and that's a he's a spot with Oh, Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. Oh, the guy got he got a dunked on the dude the other day. Oh, that boy's he's terrible. He's terrible. But he's in Minnesota, so he's not in what a quote unquote major market. Yeah. So it's gonna be harder for them to play him up, but he's um he's doing some phenomenal things. Yeah. Anyway, how you, how you doing, Tom? What's going on? Pretty good. And I know you're going to ask about the crazy governor. Yep. He, they, they settled up with uh, Disney. Mm -hmm. Did they? Uh, yep. they yeah, they, you know, Disney can keep with they guys, and the governor's going to leave them alone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things. It's quiet now, so nobody's looking. Yeah. How much did Disney so, get? Hey, they're um, allowed. From what it, I, they're, 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 they walked away pretty, pretty evenly. Yeah. Because even though uh, the bill's going to be paid, uh, the the law bills will be paid by Disney anyway, since they're the main tax contributor in the area. All right, but they're going to give it back to them, right? Because yeah. now yeah. now Disney can progress with the rest of their rebuild. Okay. Because they were putting what a couple billion dollars maybe into it redevelopment. It never made any sense. Yeah. So they're like, come on, yeah. man. Like, it's, it's, I, I can see if Disney wasn't good for Florida. Yeah. But give me a break. Yeah. 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 That money start talking. Well, oh, it, yeah. but it, he's willing to put it in jeopardy, mm -hmm. which shows how just economically insane he is. Because yeah. yep. the yeah. bottom line is the number of people that work, the number of businesses that profit, mm -hmm. the tourism that comes, mm -hmm. it's undeniable. So if he, got <laughs> if he got jealous of his own big brother, then he's got a problem. I think for every one person at Disney, it creates five other jobs. Unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. And one other thing, he did put something in which was smart. Uh, people who are um, taking over people's homes, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, squatters. Squatters. Um, police can now remove them Good. as long as they don't have a signed legal contract. That's in Florida, right? Yeah. Well, that makes sense to me. Are you how you gonna decide you're gonna stay right, at my house? Right, right. I can't tell you to leave. Right. And you have tenant rights. Oh um, fish, I've seen some craziness. Yeah. Where they had this one lady who, who it was like they caught her four different times. She got kicked out of the one mm -hmm. after legally being there for three months because they had to evict her. A month later she was in somebody else's house doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think the person that owns the house. Yeah. Or to exercise some tenant rights. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's yeah. that's what I th that's right. what I think. Uh, I mean, that, that's that's, that's, good, that's literally <laughs> breaking and entering. <laughs> come on. If I'm not home for two weeks, and so you... I don't. I live there. And I don't have tenant rights yeah. too. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I got some tenant rights for you. Hey, Bishop. Come you know, on. I gotta go, but uh, I gotta tell you, I bugged my neighbors last night because I had to put you on. <laughs> Y'all were killing it. <laughs> Didn't it? Wasn't it beautiful, yeah. man? Oh yeah. I thought. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. A Good Friday service that was that, um, that was that. I turned it on, couldn't turn it screen. off. Yeah. It was amazing, it man. Was. Our worship team was phenomenal, yeah. Our technical support team was some phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Um, the preachers did a magnificent job. Yeah. Pastor Grash closed it out in mm -hmm. amazing fashion. Um, I just thought it just it was Good Friday. It was, no, oh, yeah, it was. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Tom. All right. I'll talk to you soon, man. All right. Take care. Have a great day tomorrow. Bye-bye. 866-743-8267, 843 evans Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. This is On Point, the number one Saturday morning. Christian-based call and talk show in America live every Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on any smart device at David G. Evans 1. Um, we want to talk to you today. We look forward to it. Um, now, so 10 states 
are suing the Biden administration concerning student loan cancellation. Hmm. Now, these are not Republican states, are they? They are Republican states, yes. Kansas and a few others. Okay, so tell me. Now, maybe I'm, I'm missing something in the, con, in the flow of logic. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps I should not be looking for a flow of logic. Yeah, you probably shouldn't, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What message is the party sending mm -hmm. to people that are being educated to make a positive impact on the system they supposedly support? Mm -hmm. What message are they sending to those students? To me, you, to me, the message screams to me, you don't care. Okay. You, you're okay, okay with, and also sharing that lie, pull, your, pull yourselves by your bootstraps, make it through hard work and grit, when a lot of these people that don't want this have benefited from Absolutely. systems and Absolutely. money. It's, and it's like someone being opposed, like Justice Clarence Thomas, yeah. someone being opposed mm -hmm. to equal opportunity yep. when equal opportunity got you where you need Yes. To. And now you hate it because you got you were a benefactor. Yeah, absolutely. Unbelievable. It's insane. So I, I get to the roof mm -hmm. and I pull a ladder up. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Like all those people that got the, what was it, the P, what was it called, the PPP loans? Yeah, yeah. And then talking about, well, why are we giving these people money? But you just bit, got a $600,000 loan forgiven. Some of them got so much money, it was crazy. Yeah, and you mad because they're forgiving somebody's 10000 Unbelievable. But it's that American lie, you know, we work hard. We, we, people should work hard. I'm not denying that mm -hmm. or saying that. Mm -hmm. But we work hard. I'm self-sustaining, self-supporting. Nobody's self-supporting. No, you have help somewhere. Come on, man. Come on, man. I just, I, I don't get it. I, you know, I, I understand. Maybe, and this is probably crazy too, maybe the people, because there is some student debt cancellation going on. Mm-hmm. So maybe now that some of those congressmen and senators' children have had theirs eliminated, right, yeah. now you know I don't have to worry about the rest of you. Mm -hmm. Because I, until recently, I had some conversations with some members, and I knew there was debt, mm -hmm. but I had no concept of the amount of debt. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about in excess of two hundred grand yeah. for one kid. Yep. Yeah, because somebody, somebody said that uh, they were paying their loan back, maybe I'll use a round number, like $60,000. Mm -hmm. Ten years later, they still owe like fifty-four. Yes. Because of the interest on yes. top of it. Crazy. And you've been paying for ten years Crazy. and you only got off six. Crazy. Crazy. Because uh, be, when they, when they, when they yeah. give you a, a, a break, mm -hmm. it still tabulates yeah. the interest. Yeah. So you say they give you 12 months not to pay. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't freeze mm -hmm. everything. No. You have to. So the freeze number is 10,000. You come back on 12. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all the interest is at the top. Yes, the beginning sir. year. Yes, sir. But it, to me, it, it's a hustle because that's the way the government makes money. Yeah. Through all the student loans. Mm -hmm. And we don't, I, I'm still paying off one of my loans. Are you? Yeah, well, I'm almost done it. Thank God. But you're almost 60. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> But, you know, it's, it's, to me, the cost of college is too high in general. It is. It, it's, it's, and then at the same time, I don't want to blame the system. A part of us as individuals have to be able to tell our kids, I know you want to go away and it's going to cost $40,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to go to community college the first year or two. Yeah. Let's save some money yeah. and work towards. If we can't do that, but we'll, we'll, we'll help you do this. Yeah. Why, instead of taking out $40,000 every single year for four years, and then if you go get your master's and your... I talked to somebody the other day. Their student loan debt is $256,000. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. The only people I know, and, I've, and you, I know you know some people I know. Yeah. Some people, they were, they're lawyers. Mm -hmm. So they got, came out of school with like two hundred grand a year, mm -hmm. but they're first job mm -hmm. they were making hundred yeah, and forty thousand dollars a year yes yeah, a little different on that's a, that i understand a little that, different. that helps you a little pain it helps you out yeah, yeah. you know and then especially if you get into a law firm where yeah, it help you pay yeah, it back yeah, yeah but most people aren't going to be lawyers or decide or you're decide. so good we we, we, yeah. we don't need to stress we'll take care of this right. we're going to stress you out ourselves <laughs> exactly so we don't need to stress <laughs> right just, just, just listen right right back. if you ain't gonna be no lawyer no doctor you know 
Look, there's some consideration. If you come out making, if you've created three hundred thousand dollars in student debt, mm. you come out making seventy five thousand dollars a year. Yeah. I didn't know the payments are like thirteen hundred bucks mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money for somebody making seventy five grand uh, and on. bringing home fifty five, maybe yeah. mm -hmm. twenty. <laughs> 45? Yeah. Yep. They'll be paying for the rest of their lives. Yep. Yep. And I... I but we tell them you can't get into this system yep. unless you do this, and you have to have this, this anvil hanging around your neck mm -hmm. as soon as you get started. Yep. Yep. And, I, and we, we've talked about it for years for our college program. I understand your kids want to go away, mm -hmm. but... They ain't grown yet. They ain't got no jobs. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And why saddle us up with no. unnecessary debt? No. Go somewhere local. Mm -hmm. Go to Roman. Go to mm -hmm. Rutgers. Go Come somewhere. Come home at night. Yeah. We don't need the room and board when we live 15 minutes from the school. Well, I want to get out of my own. Then you need a job. Right. And be able to afford yourself. You need to be able to send yourself to school. <laughs> right. But the way we're going to do it here. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, What's wrong with that conversation? Right. We got to take some responsibility when it comes to some yeah. of this stuff. You know, we understand you have aspirations, but... Yeah. Can you finance your own education? Yep. The answer probably no. No. Okay, you're going to have to help us. I think the big problem is mm. parents saying we'll pay for it mm. and not even making them get a part time job at McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have to work. Yep. Your, your daily expenses, you're going to have to earn the money for Yeah. You. Yeah. Now, if you are an A plus stellar student yeah. and you want to go to Harvard, mm -hmm. Cornell, mm -hmm. Penn, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't mind shelling a little bit of money out yeah, for, because yeah. you know, when you go to those yeah, schools, yeah, the yeah. connections and, and... But the money. I know the money's high, but <laughs> I'm not saying right. you got to do that, but it's like, you got some scholarships. Yeah, you can, yeah. You, I mean, but when you're, when you're that lauded as a student, yeah. the money comes the to money you. The money comes to you, yep. You don't, you don't find many of those people that have been excellent, lauded, awarded, having to take out a whole lot of student loans. No. Now, the pressure to perform is there because it's like being in school on an athletic scholarship. Yeah. That's true. We're not paying you to sit the bench. Mm -mm. You got to make the team. Yeah. Because I know I ain't paying no $30,000 a year for you to be a C student. That ain't. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. sir. No, no ma'am. Uh -uh. mm -mm. No, sir. Uh-uh. Not in this world not or, not or the <laughs> next. Like to not in this world or the next. Not, not, even, <laughs> not even in heaven. No. no You're right, right. Not, mm -mm, we're not doing that. Paying for you to go party. No, no, uh -huh. we're not doing that. Dude. Mm -mm. And first time I see posts, you all. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. No, nah, you need a job. <laughs> right. You need a job. <laughs> <laughs> you need a job. Yeah. You going to work or you coming home? One way or the other. Yeah, absolutely. So true. But a lot of the stuff, the cost of living is going up mm -hmm. and wages are going up along with the cost mm -hmm. of living. Mm -hmm. And some adjustments need to be made with a lot of people. But I can't remember when wages kept pace yeah. with inflation. I can't remember in my lifetime when that ever happened. It's rare. You know, when I came through, and that's, you know, it feels like 50, 100 years ago, you had to work. Mm hmm. Some of us had two part-time jobs. Yep. And we're going to school at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it can be done. Yeah. You know, I worked two and was a full-time student for three out of the four years. Yeah. You know, but why? I made a baby. What was I going to do? Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Mom said, <laughs> Right. It's on you, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> you, you did it. You got it. <laughs> he said, look, <laughs> you handle this. Mm -hmm. And then she went to student teaching in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So it was like, I mean what yeah, I'm saying. Right, yeah. <laughs> I had to go get my own place. At, uh -huh. Come on, man. Yeah. And, and to me, especially those of us who are a little older, mm -hmm. you're going back to school. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with taking one class here, one class. Just I don't kind know of what's pace wrong yourself. with yourself. You yeah. don't have to quit your job, get evicted, take yeah. one class. Yep. And you guys have an advantage we didn't have. Mm. You can take the stuff Just and stay online. Home. Yeah, online. We had to go to a building. Mm hmm. Online. Online, right? You complaining? That's pressure. <laughs> <laughs> when you can wake up three o'clock in the morning right. and and take the class. Right. Yep. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know, but I, yeah. But it does take discipline to do it online. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people find out they don't have, they can't handle the liberty of doing it themselves. Yes. 
They yeah. need a building and a teacher standing over. Because mm -hmm. I, I, know, I know a couple of people, every year that they took classes, they were in a frenzy the last week before midterms mm -hmm. and finals. Yep. Try to catch up. Unbelievably. How many times do you have to do that until yeah, you say, you know what, stuff, I need to open this book every day yeah. so when it comes time to do this, mm -hmm. I'm good. Yeah. And even before class starts, they give you the book list. Come Start on. reading before class starts, just so you can be ahead no, of the reading no, schedule. That, that, that sounds like right. Just <laughs> That's the right thing to do, Pastor. They can't do that. I can't know what we're going to be studying and not go get it. And yeah. that would be just right. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> and I, and, I mean, even with this, I remember when I was getting ready to go to college. Mm. I had people in my family, you need to go away. You need to have life experience. I said, no. First off, I need to stay close to church. Because I don't trust myself. Mm -mm. You got to know. Way. You got to know. Right? And something kept telling me, stay close to home. That was the Lord. That, that was the Lord. Mm -hmm. And little did they know, that's when I started working here while I was in college. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if I was away somewhere, mm -hmm. it delayed and, you know. Yep. May never happened. May never happened. It yeah. just, it's, it's like you have to know your child. Yep. And every child needs to know themselves too. I can't tell you the number of times that I've had to sit down with parents and the child. And ask the parents, what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Don't you hear the message that is being sent by your child? Yeah. I can't go away. Yes. I need to be close by, mm -hmm. accountability, responsibility. I can't go away. Yeah. And then, you know, the dads be like, well, you know, I see what you're saying to mom. I just think they need to go. I said, what you have is a child, yeah. not a pair of dice that you roll and let's see what happens. Yes. Yes. You can't do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And try to relieve yourself of the pressure. There you go. By sending them away. Send them away. Until they get in trouble, then mm -hmm. you got some more oh, pressure. Come on, man. It's come like on. if a kid's screaming, I don't want to go, I don't want to go away. Yeah. You don't force them to. No. No. And some kids can't take throw them out into the woods. Actually, Look, most of them can't take it. No, no, no. And no. they come out unscathed. Look, it's, <laughs> I barely survived my own freshman year. Right, right. And I had sense. Yeah. And I was an hour from home. Uh, come on, man. I know. I know. <laughs> You know, I, if it hadn't been all the whole foundation thing, yeah, I'd have gone crazy out yeah. there because everybody I knew went nuts. Mm -hmm. And the threat of, I'll come to your school. Look, <laughs> look, <laughs> them black folk I'm related to? Uh huh. No, yeah, no. Keep, test the, me if you want to. Their network of information was too, too thorough. It was mm -hmm. too extensive. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who knew me. Right. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who my mother talked to right. in the registrar's office. If that boy does any call me in Puerto Rico. Right, right. <laughs> Somebody would have came up there. Look, mm -hmm. I knew something was going on when I went up there one day and, and the lady just casually mentioned I had some money in the account. Uh -huh. I'm like, well, who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. Well, your mother sends it every month. I'm like, oh, okay. Girlfriend got a spy on yeah, me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. That girl. I know. We got somebody calling. Call Sorry, yo. We did. 866 743 8267. We are full of joy and excitement yeah. this um, Easter season. The architect sitting right to my left, Pastor oh, Nick, has done a tremendous job setting up um, this uh, day to day celebration. Yeah. Um, it has, it, you know, I was thinking this morning I said you know we have people in church a lot this week mm -hmm. and um, I think the moderation of the crowd Wednesday moderation Thursday mm -hmm. moderation last night was if we hadn't had all that stuff mm -hmm. Friday would have been everybody at the same time mm -hmm. but it, it was it was I love the way the Spirit of God built, built yeah. the momentum yeah. from day to day to day yeah. And then, you know, I, I, my hat's off to you, man. Yeah. I think it, I was, every night I think, like, we, I'm, I'm using exclusive terms. Mm -hmm. we, we are in church hour and a half, mm -hmm. two hours. Oh, it's too long. But we'll sit on the game. I hate that. Sit and do. It doesn't make any sense at all. And especially like this, it's one week. It's not like, well, besides power of God. Yeah. Two weeks out of the year, we give God a little extra time. I want everything of, from God every day. Yeah. And then I'm sitting there, I wonder how much longer this is going to last. Yeah. But you don't do that at any kind of social event. Right. Matter of fact, you might get upset when they say it's over before you think it should be over. Absolutely. If Absolutely. the movie doesn't last two hours and 15 minutes, mm -hmm. it's an hour and 40 minutes. That's it. Man, that was short. That's it. Yeah. yeah. 
and we're not ones for unnecessary long shirts. Look, unnecessary. No, no, like no. A bunch no, of fillers no. that have nothing to do and, and, with. No, no, no. If 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 time gets run over, yeah. it's because God is doing right. something. Yeah, not because we're doing foolish stuff and making it run. But over. you know what? Maybe you can answer this question. Yeah. How do you sit in church with the obvious move of God going on, and all you can think of is how long you've been there? Yep. And missing God the whole time. So, Convenience. So the other night, I'm doing this, you know, you know we did Wednesday night, yeah. Thursday night. Which one was the bullfrogs? Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. So we did the butterflies, bullfrogs, yeah. and bricks. Need for togetherness, need to come. Yeah. The lady walks up to me after service and says, I only come when God tells me to. Oh, boy. So I was in, you would have been proud of me. Because yeah. normally, you know, I just, I'd have come down off the clouds yeah, yeah, yeah. and had a, had a conversation. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm, I'm thinking, all this word, all this worship, mm -hmm. all this scripture, yeah. so you can see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And your conclusion was, only come when God tells me. Yeah. Blaming God for when you don't come. come to church. Yeah. Just say so you don't want to come. Because the God of the Bible would not tell you mm -hmm. not to come to church. Absolutely. So that means when another saint calls you and says, Lord's telling me we need to stay home today, that saint has been used by the devil that day. Right. God's not going to tell you not to come to his house and mm -hmm. sacrifice his son for mm -hmm. it. It ain't even spiritual logic. It's just logic. It's logic, yeah. And look, some of this generation better be glad they didn't grow up the way some other folk grew up. Because mm. you was in church every day. Oh, Choir man. rehearsal on. Monday, usher on, on Tuesday, Wednesday Bible study. Three services, four services on Sunday. It, well, because you were that, in the herd. Yeah. In, you wasn't on the edge of the herd you where you can get herd. attacked right. and eaten. Right. You were in the herd. You were in the herd. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's different now. But, but, mm -hmm. civic organizations, mm -hmm. clubs. All that. The house of God. Man, the banquet only lasts three hours this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> no. What time y'all get up? I hate that. Mm -hmm. What time y'all get out of church? Mm -hmm. How about getting in first? Yeah, right. <laughs> Enjoy the Lord. Come on, man. Let's go to Danny from Florida. Mm -hmm. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Bishop, Danny. Good morning, uh, Pastor Nick. Hi, staff. How y'all doing? What's going on, man? Good to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. I just want to, uh, two things I just want to do right quick is just thank you all for the wonderful job that you have done, not just last night or what have you, but the entire month in preparation for leading up to Sunday. God bless you. And uh, from personally, it uh, you all made me aware of things that I should be doing, preparate, preparate mm -hmm. in preparation of Sunday coming up yeah, to man. be ready and looking out for certain things that happen. Yeah. And what happened, the the, uh, the enemy will throw distractions towards you to take you out of that mood mm -hmm. or that transforming uh, mood that you want to be in and, and looking towards Sunday mm -hmm. and what have you, but keep it all the way, all the time, yeah. not just lose it. You know, come to Sunday and then lose it, but to go ahead and to keep it. And you've been doing a wonderful job of keeping us, you know, aware of what's going on. Appreciate and I just it. want to thank you and Pastor Nick, the entire staff, everyone. You do a magnificent job as usual. I, 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 um, I, uh, we're, we're not only looking forward to what the momentum that has been built between Palm Sunday, well, really a month ago until now. Exactly. Um, but um, now we're we're getting you're getting ready to see another push yep. after the resurrection. So it's uh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> yep. and, and you're right. Friday and Thursday felt easier mm -hmm. because of all of the absolute preparation. The preparation. Absolutely. People's yep. hearts and minds. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. It just clicked. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's moving. It's gonna be something tomorrow. It's just man. Oh, I'm getting excited. And, now. Our, and our worship team last night were oh. just. Uh, mm -hmm. Just amazing. Reverend Bush is anointed. That, he hey. got the Holy Ghost all. <laughs> it's like just, okay, how many folk jealous of him? He, I know, I know. he got that thing. He got, but, but just Miles just I admitted he got yeah, the thing. Yeah, even Thursday night. Just, oh, it was crazy. Did it by himself. Voice was working. Everything. Did it by just, himself. Yep. <laughs> just, the, uh, people would you, feel better if they just admit. Okay, he's he's good. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Man, I'm sorry. Okay. We, we digress, okay. Danny. Go ahead. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Bishop, something that you um, said uh, years ago, 
in uh, Pasadena, you can go ahead and tune in on this, is what hap- uh, talking to your kids mm-hmm. and preparing them before they uh, get up to that level where they want to go to college mm-hmm. in preparation, knowing what they want to be in life, mm-hmm. what they want to do in life. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times, like what you said, and it's very true, Time and money is wasted because they do not know what they want to Absolutely. do. They get there and then they want to change your major. Mm-hmm. They don't realize that that's spending a lot of money. Because we asked them the wrong question. Mm-hmm. We asked them, what do you want to be rather than what problem do you want to solve? Yeah. So they look for those vocations outside of them that they admire, but that may not necessarily be the passion of their hearts, so you can't ask them, what do you want to be? Mm-hmm. You have to ask them, what problem do you want to solve? That causes an internal search and a different way of thinking. And until we do that, they're going to continue to look outside of themselves yeah. to be like someone else. And there's nothing wrong with that, mm-hmm. but it is if it's disconnected from your own passion mm-hmm. for the problem you want to solve. Because I, I hear so many parents, and you ask, you know, well, how's so and so doing in school and whatever. Oh, I'm so frustrated. They're changing. Their changing major. majors. Yeah, musical majors, I call it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's you get a, forty thousand dollars a lot to you, find what you want to do. Hey, mm-hmm. that's a, that's a lot. I have a friend. <laughs> Figure it out. I have a friend, long time, married to his wife, of course. Her parents paid for. Ivy League College, mm. Ivy League Med School. She graduated from med school and said she never wanted to practice being a doctor. She just mm. wanted the title. Oh, wow. I want all my money back. We, <laughs> we flip the tables. Now, here's the killer. <laughs> Whew. She, she went to Harvard and Yale. Mm. No. Put that on her parents. Mm. Didn't want to do medicine. Just wanted somebody to call her doctor. There's other things you can be a doctor. Doc. Doc. Oh. Go down to the Bible bookstore and right, get yourself right. one of them certificates. Call yourself a doctor. Get your friends to sign it. <laughs> but the, the, the sheer selfishness of it yeah. and the lack of concern mm-hmm. for what she was saddling her parents with yeah. amazed me. Yeah. She wanted nothing but the title. That's insane. And... She was biblical in her in her education. Mm. She scarcely made it made through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the righteous was scarcely. She scarcely Jeez. made it. Can you imagine that? That was hundreds of thousands of dollars mm. her parents spent. Mm-mm. She never told them. She barely got the grades, and then graduated and said, "I never wanted to do this in the first place. I just wanted to die." Mm. I'd have to walk away. I have to walk over her. Because <laughs> you know, for a crime is committed. Come, just, come on, Doc. Just, no, no. They had, it would at least have been a hit and run. Yeah. <laughs> come Jeez. on, man. <laughs> come on, man. I, I just wanted to thank you, you both. I, I couldn't let the day go by by complimenting and thanking you all, the entire staff, the entire church, for the job that you've been doing. I appreciate and it. It's, we're listening. So thank God, you very much. God bless you. Tell thank my you sister both. I said hello. We'll do. We'll all right. do. All right, man. Talk to you soon. See you. Have a great all day right. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be blessed. Uh-huh. 866-743-8267. We've got a few minutes, about eight minutes left in our program. We love to talk to you. First-time callers are always welcome. Uh, we look forward to having a conversation with you today. Um, we've got a, a great day planned tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Our virtual service will be at 8 a.m. as always. Our uh, live service, 11 o'clock sharp. Uh, we invite everyone from around the area to be here. We don't want you to be disappointed, so it would do well not to arrive at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Um, <laughs> you want to get here, and uh, was that soft and sympathetic soft. enough? Yes. Okay. Yes. You, you, it would be wise to, to come and not say, you know, I'll get there around 1230 and think it's going to be an easy thing. Um, uh, you gotta, you got to come on. And, but we love to see you. We're looking forward to um, phenomenal worship, phenomenal move of God, um, the spiritual momentum to bear fruit 
those that are fasting with us and sacrificing with us tomorrow, we're looking forward to God doing tremendous work. But it won't be the same without you. So we want you to come and uh, inconvenience yourself. Break away from your device. Come and be a part of the live worship. Uh, bricks. That was good. Have no real beauty when they're just detached and laying around. Yeah. When they are brought together, uh, the Bible says fitly joined together. Beauty, strength, value increases. In other words, when God tells us to assemble together, he doesn't suggest it. He says he commands us not to forsake it. And there is a difference between gathering a pile of bricks and, a brick, and bricks that have been assembled. There's a distinct difference. So you want to be a part. You want to get involved. You want to get engaged. You want to get here and watch God really do something phenomenal for you and for others because we're here for each other. We're here for each other. And the night of worship is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, too. We, oh, that comes on tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to miss 7 o'clock tomorrow night we recorded our night of worship to be broadcast tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I thought that was phenomenal. It was so it was. All of our staff did such a wonderful job mm -hmm. um, in that presentation. And I, I like the fact that the, present, the obvious growth, it was great the first time. Yeah. The obvious growth from then to then yeah. was amazing. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm, I'm sitting there saying, what are we going to do next? I know. Yeah. The pressure to do oh, <laughs> get better. Yeah, I just was excited about it because if that growth yep. happened between the first one and the second one, mm -hmm. this one and the next one's going to be phenomenal. Yes, but you're going to enjoy the night of worship mm -hmm. tomorrow night, seven p.m. I mean, seven, seven o'clock. Yes, seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss it. Seven o'clock. So, join us tomorrow online at eight, eleven o'clock in person. Uh, we're sowing our resurrection seed of one hundred dollars. Night of worship will air tomorrow night at seven p.m. Uh, we no longer require COVID vaccination. Masks are optional, so if you want to get, wear yours, feel free. Don't feel any kind of way. Nobody's going to look at you sideways. I still wear mine. Pastor Dick wears his. You know, so there's some people that do, some people that don't, and everybody's cool. Uh, we've got our midweek coming up, our Bible studies at noon on Wednesday, 7 p.m. on Wednesday. You don't want to miss either one of those. Our homeless giveaway is still going on until Easter. We need new toiletries, socks, travel bags, you know, sanitary wipes, all, sanitary napkins for the ladies, all those things that we kind of take for granted every day that people without a home need. We are supporting the shelters in the area, so you really will make a difference. If you're interested in receiving news, updates concerning our ministry, you want to text BBC News to 28950. That's BBC News to 28950. If you're looking for inspirational messages, devotional messages, you want to text BBC Elevate, just like it sounds, to 28950. Now, we'd always love to pray with you. So if you have a prayer request, send it to social at go the number two bethany.com. That's social at go to bethany.com. We'd love to touch and agree with you about anything that you are dealing with, struggling with, desire from God. Subscribe to David G. Evans 1 and BBC of NJ on YouTube. Also, subscribe to DGEMS, D-G-E-M-S, and On Point. Those are our podcast platforms. Now, make sure you make it to somebody's house of God tomorrow. We'd love to have you come to us uh, and experience the power of God in this place. Also, our convocation is coming up in mm -hmm. June. Yep. Um, Looks like it's going to be a tremendous time. We've got Prophet Amutang, Bishop Joseph Walker, uh, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, uh, Marissa Farrow, Al Sharpton, uh, Jerry Carter, Anthony Brown. Uh, what's the, the, the guy that's going to do the worship? Uh, Tim, Tim Bowman. Tim Bowman. Yeah. Uh, Hezekiah Walker Love Fellowship mm -hmm. is our, our throwback night for the music. It's going to be great. They're mm -hmm. excited about coming. Uh, classes for pastors, assistant pastors, yeah. youth leaders, you name it. 
have a curriculum three days, June 28th, 26th, 27th, 28th. June 26th, 27th, 28th. The day begins at 9.30 in the morning with prayer. Uh, night general session at 6. Classes during the day. You don't want to miss Power of God 2024. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. Uh, go online. Find out all the information you need. Come and be a part of what God's going to do for three days. Experience the power of God. Pastor Nicholas Smith, I'm Bishop Dave G. Evans. Thank you for joining us today on On Point, the number one Saturday morning Christian-based call and talk show in America. And I want you to remember, uh, faith acts like a thing is so, even when it's not so, that it might be so. God bless you. See you tomorrow, but also see you next week on On Point.